<clears throat> Welcome to my channel. Hey there. Um, so this is my misting chamber. Um, this is what I'm going to start off cuttings and seeds in. Um, this is a trial. Um, <clears throat> if it works well, I'm going to build a, a, quite a few of these for next year, I think, to start, start a few things off in. And it'll be handy to take cuttings in, because I believe the success rate's quite high uh, taking cuttings in one of these. Um, so I'm just going to trial it out. Uh, I'm going to give it a go for a couple of weeks and see if I get some root grow, uh, growth. Uh, what I've done is I've taken some cuttings and put them in here. Um, so if we have a quick look, and I'll show you the inside in a second, so the um, and how it works. So the cuttings I've taken, I've got some verbena here, and I've got some honeysuckle there. Um, now in this one I've got, in both of these, sorry, I've got giant pumpkins. Um, so these were some seeds off um, off eBay, off uh, Seeds Direct I think it was, uh, for guaranteed huge giant pumpkins. Uh, we'll see, we'll see, see how well I do them. I'm sure they are, it just depends how you grow them. But anyway, so I'm going to give it a go with two sets of seeds um, and then um, two sets of cuttings. So obviously it's only quite small. Um, and then what I've done as a control um, is I've taken two pots, so one there and one there of cuttings, how I'd normally take them anyway. Um, so they're in soil. Um, and then verbena, I've got some cuttings here in soil. So we're going to see how we compare um, after a couple of weeks, maybe after um, when I start seeing some growth in that one, I'll maybe take unpot one of these to see, to see how well we do uh, in comparison. Um, to see if it's any better and if it is better then this is how I'll be taking my cuttings in the future and if it's not then I'll probably just scrap the idea because it'll be a waste of time and space so um, the way this works is it runs off electric so there is I've got it running off a um, it was a Hewitt Packard printer so power supply never throw these out we've got hundreds of them at work and I normally uh, when we have a big bin in when the IT guys come from head office and bin all the stuff I normally go through the bin and pull everything out again um, and this is a uh, 24 volt power supply uh, for some reason they run off 24 volts not 12 um, and then you can see down here it's spliced onto the wires um, so uh, it's only 24 volts here so it's not it's not dangerous um, and that's uh, been heat shrunk and then electrician tape over um, and then it goes into the actual thing now this is made out of this is a Tyrell's crisp box for some reason they deliver their crisps in uh, in plastic box boxes when you order them and this one is a uh, DA113 mixed green olive uh, pitted green olive Mediterranean foods container um, so see-through so the bottom one was uh, white and I've sprayed it black to block the Sun um, and then the top ones obviously clear so it'll hold some warmth in um, and act like a mini greenhouse and then also keep the mist in um, and then when we open it up uh, you can see these cuttings, I should say this first, these are just sitting in rock, um, this expanded clay stuff. So um, these are just little net pots like you see in the garden centre for ponds. Um, and then they've got the seeds in, um, and then these ones have obviously got the cuttings in the clay. So if we take the lid off, carefully, and then, I don't know how well you can see it on the screen on the camera, it doesn't look like you can see it at all, um, but that's full of mist. So. There you go, look at that. It's quite impressive actually, the first time you see them running. So let's blow all that out. And then you can see here, there's like a fogger. And it's ultrasonic, so it's got this little, my ignorance please forgive. Um, it's got like a little panel in here that vibrates extremely fast, or resonates or whatever. Um, and then that um, mists the water and throws it up. It's also got this little detector here. Um, and that detects when it's got a level of water in it, so it'll stop if the water runs low. Um, and then this one, unfortunately, has got these LEDs on it. Um, it just happened to be the cheapest one. I think it was on offer at £5 um, for this one. And when you buy it, it comes with the standard um, connector on the end that most 12, 20 and 24 volts uh, barrel jack things. Um, I've just cut that off and spliced it onto here because this was a printer power supply. Um, and then it comes with a grommet already on the wire. So you just drill a hole, I think it was about 10 mil, and then the grommet just pushes in and seals it. And you can see, there you go, it fills up with mist really quick. I think people use these in greenhouses, they grow orchids in to keep the humidity up. Um, but the idea is that this obviously mists the roots and then there's a little bit of splash of water that comes up as well. Keeps them wet and moist and promotes uh, root growth. 
So very easy to make, very, very easy to make. I've actually considered um, just uh, making up quite a few of these and going to car boot sales and flogging them. Um, so I imagine you could make quite a bit of money selling these. There is a guy on the internet that sells them as a kit. Um, they're a bit more professional than this, um, but there you go anyway. Um, dead easy to make, I'd encourage anyone to give it a go. Um, uh, you know the stuff's ready available if you know anyone that works in a in a restaurant or a cafe you can get all these plastic buckets like i mean everything seems to get delivered in these now um i mean we throw out probably 50 60 of these a week if not more at work but well, we don't throw them they go in the recycling um but um but yeah the, the stuff's easy to, quite easy to get hold of fogger oh, bear with me there we go the fogger um is cheap enough off ebay um, and then you can see all I've done is put a gasket of duct tape and folded it down at the end so it laps over the edge and, and holds the lid on. So I'm going on holiday now for a week and a half. Um, so when I come back, um, like I say, I'll do some updates on the root growth and see uh, see how we're getting on with it. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. If anyone's got any questions, then ask. Um, and um, I'll put a link in the comments to uh, one of these foggers on eBay. Um, but like I say, um, they're dead easy to find. You can find them all over the place. Um, yeah, so there we go. Right, cheers for watching. Any questions, ask. Subscribe. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.